Hi, this is Johnny. Um, yeah, I'm sending out this really urgent, urgent prayer request um, for many of you who may follow me on on Twitter or Facebook. Um, I'm choosing to do this as a video, and many of you who are beginning to receive my support letters, um, every once in a while I'm going to put out videos just of what the Lord is speaking to my heart and just really what He's showing me in the place of prayer. And um, just a couple like literally almost two hours ago, the Lord began to encounter my heart after work today. And I just came home and just really just sought his presence and just was soaking in just who he is and just, you know, sitting in his presence. When all of a sudden um, I came across something, the Lord sovereignly led me um, to a news website and um, was like, go to this website, go to such and such video. And 10 hours ago, the Dalai Lama, who is a political and a spiritual leader, stepped down as the political leader of Tibet. This is not a coincidence. The Lord spoke so clearly to my heart. Here in Minneapolis, some of us have been praying because three days after the National Day of Prayer, the Dalai Lama is actually going to be coming to the Twin Cities area and is actually going to be speaking in the very building that we will have just met in for the National Day of Prayer. We don't think or believe that this is a coincidence. Um, there's other cities that he's also going to be visiting. Um, he's going to be in L.A. on May 1st and 2nd. He's going to be in Fayetteville, Arizona on May 11th. And he's going to be in Newark, New Jersey on May 13th and 14th. I really believe that what the Lord has impressed on my heart is such a strong word to Christians, specifically in these cities, that it's time to pray. It's time to pray like we have never prayed before. We need to, number one, we need to pray that now that he stepped down as the political leader, that he will step down as the spiritual leader of Buddhism and what he many times calls religious harmony. Jesus is the only way. He's the only truth. He's the only life. And as Christians, we need to stand up and raise the standard, the biblical standard, that it's only Jesus. We need to secondly pray that the Dalai Lama is encountered by the Jesus of the Bible. It is so important that we understand that he must be encountered by the Jesus of the Bible. Number three, we want to pray that he surrenders his heart completely over to Jesus Christ. Think of the impact that we could see with this. The Lord has already been turning hearts in some false religions. We, we saw a couple um, decades ago, we saw the worldwide church of God make a complete shift into being an evangelical denomination now. And I believe that the same thing can happen in this spiritual leader's heart. So we need to pray that he surrenders his heart to Jesus. We also need to pray that as his heart turns, that the Holy Spirit would begin to lead his followers into the truth of Jesus Christ found in the Holy Bible, the scriptures. And we also need to pray for the end times harvest. The Lord spoke so clearly to me today, and this is where I'm going with all this. The Lord spoke to me and he said, I shook the Muslim nations. Now I'm going to shake the Buddhist nations. I'm shaking them for harvest is what the Lord says. He's not shaking them because he, he just wants to kill a bunch of people. He's not shaking them because he just is power hungry and wants to do all kinds of things. He's not shaking them to make hearts offended. He's shaking them for end time harvest. And my brothers and my sisters, we must rise to the occasion we must rise to the occasion. He is shaking Buddhist nations. Japan is less than 1% Christian. They say it is 0.27% Christian. It has been that way since 1580. Since 1580. After World War II, they begged us to send them just 50 missionaries. We didn't even send them one because we told them we weren't ready. The Lord is speaking so clearly. He shook the Muslim nations. Now he's shaking the Buddhist nations. And he's very clearly saying that we must not see things through our own perspective. It's not Facebook. It's not a natural disaster. The Lord is saying it's the work of my hand. He's saying it is my work for the end time harvest. 
The Lord is saying that he is opening up the door to end time scale evangelism. Are we ready? He's saying that he is clearing the threshing floor and that he's coming. We must respond. The Lord is asking us. The nation of Japan asked us to send missionaries. Now the Lord is asking us, are we ready to step up to the occasion, whether it be in prayer or whether it be going? What are we going to do? The Lord is asking us now. We must rise to these occasions. I believe that if Christians in these cities that the Dalai Lama is going to be visiting, if they will begin to cry out for his salvation, if they will begin to cry out for the salvation of the Buddhist nations and also the Muslim nations, that literally the Lord will answer from heaven and he will turn hearts. But we must partner with his heart. We must not see things through our own perspective. The Lord is longing for us to partner with his heart in drastic travail. This is not just a prayer request to add to your prayer list. He's calling us to the weeping room. He's calling us to the place of the garden, the place of pressing, where we encounter his heart, where we can see what he sees, where we can hear what, we, what he hears, where we can intimately know his heart and what he's doing in the earth. One of the scriptures that we've been praying for Japan in the house of prayer recently is Psalm 46. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. Selah. Think about it. And then it goes on down further. Come, behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations in the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots with fire. This isn't Facebook again. God is shaking the Muslim nations and now he is shaking the Buddhist nations. But verse 10 is so important. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord will be exalted. And it is time that we see him exalted by turning this massive end time harvest to his heart. But we must partner with him. So I'm asking you through this video, um, this is not about me. This is not about what the Lord can do through me. This is really, I believe, his heart. If I'm wrong, may anything that I said that is wrong just blow away in the, in the breath of his wind. But let anything that is his word, let it be solidified in your and my heart. And let us respond. We must not be content to just hear him thunder when he speaks. We must respond. We must respond. So I am asking you to begin to pray for the Buddhist nations, to pray for the Dalai Lama, to pray for the Muslim nations. The Lord is shaking the nations, and it's time that we respond. So be blessed as you encounter his heart, and as you come into the closeness of that communion and fellowship of sharing with him just those burdens that are there for these nations and specifically for the Twin Cities area. We must understand that this campus that the Dalai Lama is coming onto has the whole 1040 window right here, right in our midst, and we must respond with urgency. So I'm putting this video out asking you to respond to his heart today. Jesus, come and teach us your heart. Come and show us what it is that you are doing in the nations. Jesus, we are so in love with you. And we come before you, just not in repentance, but we come before you in silence. We come before you and realize that you are God. You will be exalted in the nations. In Jesus' name, amen.